India, an epitomic symbol of diversity, is profoundly versatile, be it the culture, the languages, or even the topography. And the people play a major part in making it so. Despite being the largest democracy and the third largest economy in the world, the poverty rate stands at 21.2%. Although the rate of population explosion in India is staggering, much of the country is still teeming with youth, with about 444 million people being below the age of 18 years. This constitutes 37% of the total population of the country, a sect of the population that will go on to create the future of the nation as we know it. However, the stark reality remains. India is home to over 30% of the poverty-stricken population of children around the world. One in four children of school-going age is out of school. That is, 99 million children in total are not in school. Moreover, out of every 100 children, only 32% complete their school education appropriately. Imagine the impact all these children could have on the future if they had access to proper education, nurturing, and guidance to be able to contribute. All they need is a helping hand, a hand with a strong will and a singular goal, one that will embrace them, a hand that extends out a reach. Rendering effective aid to children. Reach International is an organization with a visionary motto. Education empowers all. It was founded in October 1973 by Dr. Jacob and his wife, Dr. Jasmine. Hardships that he endured during his own childhood cultivated a sense of responsibility which led to the culmination of REACH. Today, it has expanded into 21 countries with five branch offices providing support to about 20,000 children each year. Tamil Nadu, Southern India. Located here is the temple-laden city of Madurai with a bustling urban population. But as one moves further away towards the outskirts of the city, the unspoken voices and the unheard stories of certain REACH alumni, teachers and students come to life. The villages surrounding the city house three out of the six REACH establishments in India, in Salaipudur, Chettimedu and Kodimangalam. Every classroom and every corridor resonates with the ambition and love of people who have risen from hardship and wandered into an abyss of hope. This set of schools have been around since the inception of REACH and they still remain unforgotten in the minds of certain alumni. Prabhu and Sudhakar are two such alumni 
who just can't seem to let go of the hand that held on to them when they had hit rock bottom at a very young age. I am Prabhu. I am 35 years old. I am from Madurai district, near the village named called Samenalo. I have been in the reach uh, since I was uh, six and a half years old. My father has been murdered. So my pa, my mother, she wanted to protect me. So the school was nearby my village. So they brought it and they let me put it here in the school. So by that, I studied up to 2004. It must be around uh, nine years. I've been there. Today, I can live in this world. I can do anything to what I can live with that. Because they taught us. It's like uh, plumbing work, carpentry work, electrical, mechanic, even welding. So, they taught educational plus life skill, I can say that. If rich would have been come to in my life, I cannot imagine myself by what I am there. Because my father has been murdered and I would have been get revenged if, if suppose I was with my friends in the village. I would have been put in prison. So they made me as a... They gave a life to me, that's what I can say. Rich has been given a great life for me. Uh, my name is Sudhakar Joshua. I am coming from Madakapattu village, Vaniyambadi, uh, near Vellu district. Now I am working here for administrative director for our rich kids. I full all in charge of the campus. I remember before my mother. Sorry. I joined Rich. At that time, I was studying third standard. Rich give to the three time food and shelter, free education, they are giving dress. The staff and the teachers also take care for me, like a father and mother. This Salehpudur unit, this is the Salehpudur unit. This unit is very, very important for my life. Call to Mr. Thomas, sir, don't close the salary of the project. If you give money or not, I challenge you. I take care for salary. Five years without money from reach or anything. I'm collecting money, I were some public and old students, my friends. My friends means they are studying here only. All students were rich. They are given ready to some money, some dresses. They are given some eatables, some dresses for Christmas and New Year, some vegetables. They are ready, ready, ready. The veteran men are thankful and hopeful. But what about the recent graduates? The latter-day graduates of REACH are a streak of success stories and they have their own experiences to share. Hear them out as they talk about the role REACH has played in providing them with education and a career path and how they believe the schools and hostels can develop with time. These are the stories that form the memorabilia. I'm Jeff Prakash Anthony. I'm 19 years old. I'm pursuing B Computer Science Engineering in Apex College. I came here since um, 2014. So for, for past two years, I'm here. 
I pursued my 11th and 12th standards so it I basically failed in the 11th standard and I was studying in Calcutta. So at that situation, at that um, time, um, my parents could not afford me to study in some other schools. So I heard about the school, Rich Metropolitan School. So I came from there so, um, to get an admission over there. So this school has helped me the most because um, without taking any money and all, uh, they have given me the perfect path to how to uh, how to be in a life, how to how to be disciplined man right now, how to be an disciplined man. Okay. I would have not yet got this opportunity. Uh, I would have to be in front of you like a engineer studying in an engineering college. I'm uh, Deborah Mercy, I'm 32 years old now. And I have started my uh, schoolings from PKG in this school and I completed my higher studies in 2002 and after that I went to Chennai to do my nursing and I finished my UG in 2007 and I did masters again and that was in uh, 2010 and uh, right now I am working as a nursing professor and I did my additional language course also so I know German and I am working as a German teacher and as well uh, nursing professor Right now I am staying in Chennai but my three kids are studying here so every weekend I'll, I used to come here. I will come here and I'll sit them with the whole weekend and I'll go back on Monday for my work. I don't want to bring my children, take my children to Chennai. Though their education is good, their people are saying that but I don't trust in that. So when compared to all that things in Chennai, I feel better here. My children are safe and they are good in learning everything. So I, I feel comfortable. I really want to uh, thank this opportunity and it's a great uh, platform where I, can, uh, where I can convey my thanks to this particular my sponsors because I have been in this reach for the past uh, 15 to 17 years where I came in as a feeling kid and I went out at the age of 17, 18. So I really want, I want to thank this opportunity. And one more thing is, actually, my sponsor, he, he, or, uh, he and his uh, her family has sent me uh, uh, one letter. I do still remember that uh, way. That family has sent me a saying that my kid has asked me an uh, ice cream. Way I do not want to give an ice cream to her, but I do, I do want your studies to continue. So this is the part where uh, what to say uh, when a kid is having an uh, ice cream and that particular ice cream is giving me a life so that's the bridge where reach has been there so i really want to thank that particular opportunity and still i do want many sponsors to sponsor the upcoming kids particularly in india we are struggling about uh, many kids uh, for food for education for better shelters uh, they do deserve the betterment what they what they are having is now so, um, as, a, as a part of the REACH alumni, I would like to ask many people to come out and lend their hands, not only from the abroad, but as a part of an India or anywhere, where you can contribute as a, what you, you can. See, when a, when a family can uh, sacrifice the ice cream or chocolate to my education or to my career, so that's not going to make any sense with an ice cream or a chocolate, but the thing is, uh, career of a kid is being changed from the where he is, so that's the best part. And once you start, uh, once you start uh, helping a kid or uh, helping someone, you will you will receive the same blessings and joy. So that's what my feel is. And I would like to uh, still welcome many uh, gentlemen and gentle ladies to come up to and lend their hands. As Billy Keen's famous quote goes. Yesterday is history, tomorrow is a mystery, but today is a gift. That is why it is called present. And so the focus shifts to the present. Currently, the three REACH establishments educate, nurture and shelter around 500 students. Here's what a few of them had to say about how they ended up at REACH, their ambitions, the organization's role in helping them achieve it and their pleas for better infrastructure and facilities. 
These are the stories of dreamers. As generations come and go, one fact remains. Change is constant. The kind of love and trust that the multitudes of students, alumni and teachers have in reach is platonic, almost interplanetary. The hope that reach gives them with the promise of a better tomorrow is what keeps them going. The honest core of the organization has attracted the attention of other experienced social workers like Mr. Thomas, who has been with REACH for over 20 years, and Mr. Sam, who is convinced that with help and contribution, REACH will progress. These are the stories of belief. My name is Thomas. I'm a long-standing social worker, and I'm uh, in REACH Matriculation I have sent to home school for more than 29 years. And I come from Tamil Valley district. I am from a small hamlet called Vagikulam. I was in Mumbai in a place called Mulund for a couple of years. And uh, I wanted to join my kids in school. They were uh, four years and five years of age then. And uh, I came to know that uh, one of my teachers, chemistry teachers, was working in this particular school and he was my favorite teacher. So I thought of joining my children here. So I came here, but uh, Mr. Marshall, his name is, his Mr. Marshall told me that he is in need of my help. So I joined uh, here in the year 1989. I have two sons and one daughter. They all had their education here only, basic education too, till they could complete higher secondary education. And uh, now, they are in good positions. My elder son is working for a bank. 
and my daughter is a professor in the medical college and uh, my younger son is in uh, germany these children they could uh, come to this stage it's all because of reach as far as reach chetimedu is concerned the infrastructure has to be improved infrastructure is a main thing which attracts children students to come to school so if they see a bad ceiling that leaks and if there are broken benches and if there are leaking toilets and leaking classrooms that leads to absenteeism so many children will be absent looking at the condition of this infrastructure reach is raring to go towards a better future and they can use all the help that they can get with resources and tools which will allow them to shelter nurture and educate their children efficiently and to great effect in the words of ban ki moon education promotes equality and lifts people out of poverty It teaches children how to become good children. Education is not just for a privileged few. It is for everyone. It is a fundamental human right. So from here on to a better future. We are reach. We are family. We are reach.